Hello and welcome to Customer Insights in Under 5. My name is John Weezy, and in this episode, what I'd like to walk you through is a very common ask I get, especially for people working on a proof of concept or just testing out customer insights. And that is, how do they load data from a SharePoint list um, or a document library? Uh, so here we have um, a document library uh, out on a SharePoint called just you know, Shared Documents. And what I want to do is bring this contacts into my customer insights. And this could be a CSV that you got from potentially a customer, uh, if you're a partner helping with an implementation, uh, from you know some data source that they have for you to put into the proof of concept and, and show them how things are working. And you just want a quick and dirty way to get data into customer insights, which today requires it to be hosted on the internet someplace. So uh, we'll get the SharePoint uh, site loaded in. Uh, the user that I'm using uh, is my user, my administration user uh, for my tenant. Uh, so this user has both access to the customer insights as well as the SharePoint list. So if I flip back over to customer insights, here I have my data sources and I'm going to go ahead and add a new data source, import, and I'm just going to call it SharePoint for now. Oops. Once the data source is created, I'm going to go ahead and choose CSV since it's a CSV file. And then it's going to look for a path. So I'm going to go back to my SharePoint list, my document library, and I'm going to go ahead and copy everything up to the shared documents. Now you might think to come out here and say copy a link. Um, and then SharePoint generates this nice little link for you, but that will not work. Um, it doesn't like those sorts of links. Uh, another thing that we'll have to do is just edit uh, the URL because it also does not like the special character of percent %20 for space. So we're going to come back here. We'll put this in to our URL. We'll take this out and actually put it in as a space. And then the last part is just put in the name of the file, so contacts.csv. So if I come back and I put in contacts.csv, um, if, if it's not signing me in, I can click sign in uh, to sign in as the user that I want uh, that has access to it. And then once I'm done with that, I can click next. This will now import the CSV from SharePoint and allow me to work with it in Customer Insights. So now I can do all the typical things like transforming the first row to use as headers and defining any column types to be different field types and so on and so forth. And then give it a, a name. And exit out. And now I have a list of contacts coming in from a CSV file hosted in SharePoint. So for all of you that have been trying to get SharePoint as a host uh, for your CSVs and a proof of concept, hopefully that answers the question for you on how to get that done. Hope you enjoyed this episode and tune into more episodes as we post them.